Insel! Okay, Alemal, welcome to Rukpe Combat Arms channel. Okay, well, that's that's the Dutch out of the way. Not gonna lie, that's the best it's gonna get. I tried that a few times and it's not sounding any better. But hopefully you guys appreciated the, the Dutch DSi intro there. Hopefully you were able to kind of tell what I was doing there. Basically with the gray on gray aesthetic and that's pretty much all I could rely on uh, as far as you determining what that was. But today is the start of our Halloween month. So of course we're gonna be rocking costumes for every reaction video. I have a few ideas. I'm trying to get like some country themed ones, kind of like what I'm doing today. Um, and if I can, I'll try and break out the language skills or I guess like the, the lack thereof. I'll try, I'll put in the effort. You guys already know I'll put in the effort. Now today we're checking out something that I've wanted to check out for a while. This is definitely not a new video, but it was recommended to me a lot and it's been chilling on my list for a very long time. And it just looks pretty cool. So I wouldn't say this isn't, this isn't necessarily like combat footage, but it is real operational footage of the intervention unit, which I guess the, the Hetz Corps Mariners, I can't really say that. My Dutch is exhausted for the day. But it's their intervention unit, basically clearing out a vessel that I guess was taken over by some pirates. And it's pretty cool because it's like proper helmet cam footage. So it's about four and a half minutes long, so nothing too crazy. But I do want to check it out and sort of break it down and sort of see how these guys operate. And I, I think it's going to be pretty freaking cool. I mean, this anti-piracy stuff is always pretty legit. So let's check it out. Now, there are no subtitles, but we can kind of just see what's happening. All right, so this is from 2010. Oh, sick. Is that a kregen met ons team de opdracht om een de motorvessel Taipan te ontzetten van, een, van de piraten. Er zaten tien piraten aan boord, die hadden het schip gekaapt. En okay, zaten... so there's ten pirates on board. Um, I do love the shots here, and I especially love seeing them actually like load up, because... I mean, you, they don't really, unless they got like some good intel, they might not know exactly what they're getting into. They might not even know if these pirates are armed or not. So that is a pretty cool shot right there. Like imagine what is going through their heads. And there zaten 15 bemanningsleden aan boord die veilig in de safe room beneden in het schip zaten. The sensor operator die... Oh my God, the, the old school kit is pretty freaking iconic too. I mean, this... I mean, I think this is just a helicopter crew chief, so he doesn't need anything too high speed, but he's rocking like one of the old nylon holsters. Reten, die gooit nu de fast rope line uit de helikopter. Hij zal zometeen ook de personen die langs de fast rope line naar beneden glijden, die zullen, right. zal hij begeleiden. Want Some fast roping. Ik ben op dit moment aan het vuren met de, met de mag, om uh, dekkingsvuur te geven, zodat de piraten... Whoa, whoa, is that, is that them engaging? I couldn't even tell. I mean, the audio just sounds weird from this helmet camera. But are they actually engaging something right now? I don't know if they're actually taking fire at this point. It's kind of hard to tell, but yeah, I mean, they're fast roping in. And if you're taking contact when you're fast roping, that's not going to be fun. That's pretty freaking scary. <laughs> and then that's an understatement. Like a fast rope, going down a fast rope is, I mean, they call it a fast rope, but you're still a pretty slow target. Uh, Dekkingsvuur to give so that the pirates aan boord van de Taipan, dus die op het dek staan, zodat die niet de kans krijgen om op ons te gaan vuren. Oh my okay. god, the freaking fast rope is like right next to the machine gun. I've never seen a setup like this, but it's a pretty freaking sweet vessel. But yeah, it's literally just like you're scraping the machine gun as you're going down. Om op ons te gaan vuren. Nou, rechts ziet u de, de Harre Majesteit Tromp. Damn, that's so cool. Vanaf dit moment uh, wordt uh, ook vanaf de Containers van de dak van de containers worden dekkingsvuur gegeven voor de persoon die alsnog naar beneden moeten glijden. Oh no kidding, yeah. Ziet ook dat de damn they're getting it. I'm not too sure if the intervention unit is actually taking fire right now, but you can tell. I mean, you know, they're they're trying to suppress these guys. They know that these guys are are some hostiles. So I don't know what their ROEs are like, but yeah, I mean, some suppressive fire is pretty nice, especially when you have the helicopter in a hover like that and your buddies are coming down fast roping. But yeah, with all these containers, it looks pretty cut and dry, but even still, like. A ship is a ship, and it's never fun to clear out. Uh, the containers that here opgestapeld staan, dat die ook een 
voor ons een best wel wat uh, zichtdekking uh, zorgen. Dus uh, zodra er bijvoorbeeld een houder gewisseld moet worden, kunnen ze opzij stappen. Kunnen ze onder dekking kunnen ze hun houder wisselen. En daarna kunnen ze weer terug uh, het Damn. vuur uh, overnemen. How are they gonna get down? En van daaruit zijn we naar achter gegaan, naar het achterschip. Oh, yeah, sea wire? En zijn we naar de brug gegaan om de tijd. Wow, who put the sea wire up? Did the pirates put the sea wire up? It looked like it's being used to... Wow, I wonder if it was set up to prevent a boarding team from coming on board, like a, a raft and whatnot. And if that's the case, these guys kind of thought it through. I mean, the helicopter, they didn't really do anything about that. There's not a whole lot you can do about it, I guess. But yeah, it's also looking like it was obscuring the raft. So maybe they're trying to block people from escaping as well. The type on the Friday. Damn, there's no space. Okay, oh, got a window. Nice, okay. That flashlight doesn't look very bright. So that's the thing with like, with like CQB. <laughs> the dude is wanting to like hold his danger area, but I mean, there's a dude clearly behind him. Like his buddy is actively speaking with, you know, what we, he would probably assume is a bad guy. So he's probably gonna wanna make sure he can support his buddy a little bit and also kind of get into the fight as well. So yeah, you can tell he's, he's angsty. He's trying to make sure he's neutralizing this threat, but he's also trying to cover down his danger areas. Daar aangekomen zijn we, hebben we eerst zes piraten aangehouden. Die zaten op het benedendek. Die hebben we uit het raam laten komen, omdat we die, uh, het raam... Good discipline. Daar zagen we personen bewegen. Die zijn aangesproken. En we hebben daar uit zes piraten hebben we naar buiten laten komen. En die hebben alle zes daar geboeid. En die hebben we veilig gesteld. Oké. Okay. Op een gegeven moment uh, op het achterdek... I can almost understand it again. Dutch sounds like a drunk English, so I can almost understand it. Um, but sometimes, yeah, I'm not really too sure. So if I do miss any like anything that they're saying that provides a lot of context, please let me know. I know it would have been nice to, to get a translation, but I didn't really think this one through. I kind of just saw it on my list and it's something that I just want to check out. I heard the voice of one of my team members and they have op een gegeven moment daar, uh, zijn ze op gaan reageren. Die hebben ze aangesproken. En daar kwamen nog, vanaf het achterdek, kwamen nog twee keer... Gotta get that uh, guy down. ...de water kwamen de hoek omzetten. Die, zijn ook, uh, die waren ook ongewapend. Die hebben ook weer aanvat en geboeid. En uiteindelijk hadden we op, op die... Uh, okay. dus de verdieping hadden we acht piraten. Op dit Jeez. moment uh, is een van die piraten die wordt... Uh, yeah, like when we were controlling, or at least when we were training to control occupants, well, it's actually something that we implemented as well. When you're actually clearing out facilities, like like legit clearing out facilities, you definitely want to make sure you're controlling people. And it depends on who you're, you're talking with, because if it's like U.S. personnel, especially like, you know, higher ranking U.S. personnel or civilians, contractors, things like that, you want to control them, but you don't want to be like, kind of like an asshole. But you definitely want to be assertive enough to make sure that they're listening and just getting out of the way. Because like these guys, I mean, they're standing up, they're kind of like turning and they're moving their hands a lot. And yeah, at this point, their adrenaline is pretty high. So they don't want any of that movement. So yeah, controlling them is definitely a, a big thing. And that's kind of what we're seeing here. Oh, damn, that's scary. Oh, damn, that's scary. Oh, damn, that's scary. Oh, my God. Dude, that is so scary. There's like a, a lower deck, this deck with the open door, and then the dude coming down. Oh, damn, that's scary. Oh, damn, that's scary. Oh, damn, that's scary. Oh, damn, that's scary. Oh, En zodra hij beneden is, dan wordt hij uh, aanvat en dan zullen ze hem gaan boeien. En uiteindelijk hadden we toen tien piraten. Damn, look at that. Drie paks, uh, drie man zijn we naar boven gegaan naar de, naar de brug. En via de brug die we nog moesten zuiveren. Omdat dat een... You can tell, like, they're, they're definitely experienced. Just like what he's doing here, how he's not cutting so close to like you know, moving in this lane here where he'd be restricted as far as his lateral movements, but also he'd be closer to these danger areas and wouldn't have as much reactionary time. If one of the pirates was feeling froggy, and also if they didn't have a weapon, if they just wanted to get like hands on. Naar de, naar de brug, en via de brug, die we nog moesten zuiveren, omdat dat een, ons zwaartepunt is, hebben we, zijn we er via de brug, toen die clear was, zijn we Jeez. naar beneden gegaan, hebben we het hele, de accommodatie van de, de bemanning van het schip, hebben we... Allemaal bezocht om te kijken of daar verder nog piraten waren. 
Uh, mm. Wat ze in de accommodaties hebben gedaan is uh, alles overhoop gehaald. Er lagen overal uh, laptops op de grond. Uh, er waren deuren ingetrapt. Er waren deuren, er waren dwars, dwars doorheen geschoten. Er waren deuren die, die ze niet open kregen. Uh, ze hebben in die vier uur tijd hebben ze behoorlijke ravage. Damn, that's so, that's so sketchy. Like, at this point when you're kind of just like walking around, like clearing out some of the smaller rooms and whatnot. It's easy to get complacent because you're kind of just like opening up things and you're not like expecting to see somebody. But just like right there where he just opened up that, that bathroom door or whatever it was. Like if there's somebody in there, you need to be prepared to see somebody in case you do need to engage. And that's, that's a hard thing, especially when you're trying to just make sure you're looking at everything to make sure you're clearing out every little bit. Het waren deuren die, die ze niet open kregen. Um, ze hebben in die vier uur tijd hebben ze behoorlijke ravage aangericht well done, in, uh, in het hele schip. Uh, ze waren wel degelijk bewapend. Ze hebben ter plekke alles neergegooid. En dat varieerde van uh, RPG's en uh, RPG's 7's Damn. en uh, AK-47's tot pistolen. Golly, those things have seen better days. They look like they freaking recovered them from the ocean after like three months. <laughs> Holy cow. De Duitse kapitein besloot uh, de deuren open te maken. En die kwam uh, hmm. naar buiten met zijn hele club. En die waren natuurlijk uh, hartstikke opgelucht. Die hebben, we hebben ze verzameld aan de bakbordzijde van het uh, achterschip. Daar hebben ze met z'n allen hebben we ze verteld wat er aan de hand was. Hmm. Uh, hoe we aan boord zijn gekomen. We hebben een applausje in, uh, in ontvangst genomen. Ja, die waren ontzettend blij ons, om ons te zien. Oké, okay, ik denk ik begreep een like maybe a quarter of that last portion there. But it is kind of cool how they actually get to watch the operation after it all went down, especially like people who didn't like take part in it, how they're able to sort of see everything and sort of how it unfolded. It's a great tool. I gotta say helmet cameras are an awesome sort of after action tool, whether it be for training or actual live operations. Like there are lessons learned. And of course, before people started rocking helmet cameras, you know, it's kind of, okay, this is what I saw, this is what he saw, X, Y, and Z, especially when all the adrenaline is pumping, it might not necessarily get recalled exactly how it happened. So those helmet cameras definitely do help a lot. Plus it's nice that us in our computer chairs can kind of like watch the operation and sort of see how everything unfolded. But yeah, this was a pretty freaking cool operation, I gotta say. So it looked like, so it was in Somalia or Somali pirates and the ship was called Tai Taipan. So I definitely wanna try and find a good article or maybe if there's like a documentary about this. If you guys know any good articles or anything that sort of covered this, definitely throw it down below or throw it in the Discord because I'd like to check that out. Because yeah, pretty cool little, little scenario here. I mean, I say scenario, pretty cool operation, real, real time operation, it's awesome getting to see some of that real operational footage. I gotta say, it just makes it so much more authentic. And you can really tell how well-trained those individuals are when, I mean, it looks like, it almost looks like it's training because they're so proficient. They sort of just get into the gray state where they're just moving. They, they're so comfortable with their tactics and even just like using the initiative on the fly. Cause you can imagine they probably didn't have that much prep or understanding of the layout of the ship. So you can tell their tactics are still very, very sound and they're moving well, they're communicating well and the violence of action was definitely still there. We kind of saw that in the beginning, but yeah, definitely a cool operation. If you guys have any other additional information, definitely throw it down in the comment section we, so we can kind of educate ourselves a little bit more about it. But yeah, this was an older video that I've been trying to check out for a while. So I do appreciate it. If you guys wanna recommend some old videos, I'm all about it, especially if it's like operational stuff like this. If it's like a 2010 montage video, I'll probably stay away from it because whenever I do old montage videos, it, it's not that relevant and you guys do a good job of letting me know that that stuff is pretty outdated. So I do appreciate that as well. But if it's definitely some older operational stuff, then that would be pretty sick to check out. But hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. Again, hopefully you guys enjoyed the, uh, the sort of costume and the intro. Definitely stay tuned for the other ones. Um, yeah, hopefully they're as cool i guess or hopefully they they work as well for an intro as the one i just did um but i guess we'll see but that's it for this video i'll see you on the next one